So in this video, we're going to cover CTQs, critical equality characteristics, something talked about in Lean Six Sigma. Now, before we dive in, let me mention, if you're interested in a free Lean Six Sigma white belt certification course, you can access one at sixsigmasociety.org. So CTQs are a measure that indicates whether or not we have met customer expectations. And CTQs could be related to a variety of topics uh, or areas. It could be performance, timeliness, reliability, durability, security, and so on. Now let's take an example of a mobile phone company to kind of um, crystallize this here. So some of the CTQs could be delivery time in days. That's some way to measure the voice of the customer. Are we meeting their expectations? It could be battery life in hours. Water resistance in meters, how far can we put the phone underneath the water before it um, you know, uh, doesn't function anymore? And the number of cracked screens. So what percentage of phones that get shipped have cracked screens? We want those to be small, obviously. But these are us taking the voice of the customer and trying to convert it into something measurable, some way to measure whether or not we're achieving their expectations. Because remember, if we can't measure it, we don't know if we're, if we're achieving what they expect or if we've made improvements at the end of this. Now what's important is after we collect these CTQs, we have to ask the customer for their specification limits. So one of the examples we used earlier when we talked about specification limits was delivery time and days. If we find that that's really key for our customers, if they want it delivered as quickly as possible and that's important to them, we've got to understand at what point have we gone past their limit. Do they view it as just being way too late and they end up going to another company or another another site, perhaps. Okay, so here was the example we used. If our average delivery time is three days, maybe the customer limit is nine days. At that point, if it goes beyond that, they're going to go with someone else. Customers will start fleeing us. Okay, we need to understand what their limits are. Here's another example. If a key characteristic, if something customers really care about is battery life and hours, it's extremely important to them, we want to understand what their limits are. So in this case, let's say that we spoke with customers, we tried to understand what's acceptable and what's not. We could say that their lower specification limits were about 11.4 hours. Okay, and that's the lower limit. So anything above that would be fine. Obviously, if the battery lasts longer than that, great. But they don't want it to be less than that. If it's less than that, they might go to another phone. Okay, so we've started to figure out ways to measure the voice of the customer. And then we've tried to identify customer specification limits. What's acceptable in their mind? Okay, now let's try a quick exercise to make sure we're clear on CTQs. So imagine you sell hamburgers. That's what you sell to your customers. What you probably want to think about is what ways to measure whether or not customers are enjoying your hamburger, whether it's delicious to them. Some way you could measure that is maybe the temperature of the burger during cooking. You'd measure that maybe in degrees. And then the thickness of the burger, you can measure that in centimeters or inches. You could also measure the freshness of the burger. What's the age of the ingredients in days? So those could be ways or, or um, CTQs we could measure to make sure we're achieving customer expectations. Temperature, thickness, and freshness, uh, freshness of the ingredients. And there's some way to measure that in degrees, inches, and in days. Okay. And then what we would do is... Um, add some specification limits there. When is a burger too thin? When is it too thick? Okay, when are the ingredients, um, I guess too fresh isn't an issue, but when are they too old, right? How many days would that, would that be? Okay, and then as we start thinking about these CTQs, as we start identifying ways to measure them, we want to prioritize them and figure out which ones are really most important to our customers. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to check out the free Lean Six Sigma certification course at sixsigmasociety.org.